Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and today we are going to do the tutorial for um, my first design team project for Country Craft Creations for 2024. This is using Doodlebug's Snow Much Fun collection. Um, I do have the walkthrough video and now we are going to do the tutorial. And as I said in the walkthrough, I used um, Country Craft Creations brand new I don't know if I could even say it's new anymore because I know it's been over a month at least, but it's 100 pound weight artisan cardstock in black. Um, and I love it. So I wanted to try it out on this folio. You do not have to use that to make this folio. I just wanted to play with it. And I did mix mm, some uh, regular artisan, which is like 87 pounds right around there. Um, for the flaps, um, just to, you know, I didn't want to cut into another piece of my 100 pound because it's a little bit more expensive and I want to save it. So um, we are going to go ahead. There's no chipboard for this project. So this is just a nice, easy tutorial. You can use this for anything for Valentine's coming up, any paper. Um, but I did use, like I said, Doodlebug Snow Much Fun collection, which is adorable. But I also wanted to show using this. You don't have to show all the critters and the things with smiley faces, all the cute stuff, you know, that we love. You could just use the B-sides. Like, I didn't even have to use the snowman on the front. Um, there, I think there was, like, a cut apart with a sweater and a hat if you had, I mean, everyone had a winter just a couple weeks ago. Some were still going, having snow. Um, so, let's just get into the tor tutorial and get the ball rolling. So, I'm going to go through the cardstock. And you guys can either snap pictures of the measurements, write it down, etc. But we will need two pieces for the cover that are seven and a half by 12. And then once it's in the scoreboard, we're going to score it at five, five and a half, and 11 on the 12 side, and then we're gonna glue these two pieces together. So this is the base of the album, the cover of the album. Then on the left-hand side of the folio, uh, let's see here, we have, now these two pieces were out of the 100 pound cardstock. So this is the left middle meaning if you go to the left it's not that first page it's the second and you see when you watch the walkthrough what i mean but it's the left middle top flap and um, this piece is five and three eighths by 12 because our album is five and a half inches wide and i wanted to just make sure everything closed up nicely so i just took off an eighth of an inch and then in our scoreboard we score a half an inch and then three quarters, and then eight and a quarter over on this side here. So this is the measurement for that. And then the bottom part that closes it up is this piece that is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then on the three and three quarter side on the scoreboard, we scored a half inch and then three quarters of an inch. I guess we can get out the scoreboard and just do this together. Maybe that's, I don't know why I always go back and forth on how we need to do this. Um, so let's just, let's just back up. It's just so you guys can see a visual. I know the advanced people don't like this, so feel free to fast forward, but I'll go quick. So five, five and a half and 11. You're gonna do that for both pieces. And then for this one, you put it 12 going across, you're going to do a half inch, three quarters of an inch, and eight and a quarter. My hands are a little greasy because I put lotion on, so, you know, you're either going to get ash or you're going to get grease. So, <laughs> a half an inch, and then three quarters of an inch for that bottom piece. So, those are the pieces that we have already gone through. Now, for, like, the stacked waterfall that is underneath those flaps... Our bottom piece is five and a quarter by seven and a half, and then turn it to the seven and a half and just score a half inch. So all these you're gonna score a half inch basically at the top. So the next piece is five and a quarter by seven. 
in you go, half inch. I'm telling you guys, this actually is really easy to make. And then um, this one is five and a quarter by six and a half. Score half inch. And then five and a quarter by six. And this is with the regular artisan cardstock. So you have these here ready to go. And then we're going to hop over to the right side of the folio now. I think. Did I just put these down? Yes, I did. Okay, now these pieces, I did use the 100 pound cardstock. So we have a pocket, a gusseted pocket on the right side of the folio. So it is four and a quarter by nine. And then on here, and I put, you're gonna score the same on all three sides. So on the long, um, not the long, but the four and a quarter scored a half inch and then three quarters of an inch. We're gonna turn this little baby. Same thing, half inch, three quarters. You can come and mark it at eight and a quarter and eight and a half. I just like to keep spinning. I don't know why. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just, whatever <laughs> the moment brings. The next piece is three and a quarter by seven and a half. And with the three and a quarter across the top, you're gonna to score a half inch and then three quarters of an inch. So basically all the pieces that had like a gusset, I wanted to use the 100 pound cardstock, but again, you don't need to, it's just what, you know, I wanted to do. This one was regular artisan, and this is the booklet that goes inside that gusseted pocket, but you could fit so much more in there. But it is six, um, six and a half by nine, and then we just score it at four and a half to get it in the middle. And just right now, just go ahead and fold that baby. Just fold that up so we can say we have something finished. Ooh, look at that, already done. There we go. Okay, and then in the middle of that right side, so that second page in, um, this is the bottom large flap. So five and a half by seven and a half. I feel those yawns coming. <laughs> And you guys, it's early. I'm not going to sleep. I'm not tired. I just, maybe it's the lights. I'm going to say the lights. Because if you guys could see right now, um, this piece is five by six and a half, scored a half inch. I have a ridiculous amount of lights shining on me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lampy type lights, let alone the regular light of the room. It's not that they do anything, it just makes me feel better, but I think that might be making me tired. Is there like an expert out there on lighting? Does it make you tired? <laughs> um, four and a half by five and a half, and then scored a half inch, and I should say, not make you tired, but make you yawn. It's like, okay, so I know a lot of people like think I'm crazy on this. Here's the last piece, real quick. So this is gonna be that top flap that folds to close all these babies up. And you can see my little boo-boos, but it's four and a half by five and seven eighths. And on that five and seven eighths, just scored a half inch. And we have a one eighth inch gusset. I really wanted a quarter inch, but I thought that in the pocket might not mesh well. Um, so you score that. It will go on the folio like this and fold this way. But that's it. That's all we need for the scoring and the papers but you guys I need to okay first I'm gonna grab my water because maybe that'll just keep me awake but what I was gonna say okay so I hate reading I hate reading books I hate the smell of books <laughs> like everyone's like oh I love the smell of libraries or not libraries bookstores and the smell of new paper no no ma'am I don't. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm about to choke. Like I can't breathe. I just, I can't. And then reading, I'm yawning the whole time while I'm reading. I just, I, yeah, can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. So let's get the base out for the cover. There's no mitering for this. We're just going to fold up on all of these however you want to do it is fine. 
So, let's see. I might need to, I think I want my other mat this time. That blue mat, I love it for, um, you know, other stuff, but doing tuto tutorials, you can't see my Scorpel blue mat. So I need to use my turquoise one. Okay, fold this one. And we just glue these two pieces together. I'm telling you, this is a great beginner project if you are more advanced. Um, you can add more flips and flaps, do more stuff to it. And best thing to do is just make sure like your edges, you know, top and bottom, line up when you're doing these folds. I forgot which crease I was actually working on. Okay, so we have two like so now these two are just going to create a nice sturdy spine and you're just going to glue those two together the best you can but again trying to make sure top and bottom you know push them in when you glue and press down all that good stuff okay let's get that mat out tiffany stay focused stay focused and if you did not see my haul video, let me just grab it so I remember to show it. I'll show you guys at the end. But I have more projects I want to do with this collection. I just want to hop to um, my CCC Valentine's, which again, I'm going to grab that so that you guys know the next project I'll be working on if you want to get the paper. So <laughs> we'll wait on that, but I will have everything linked in the description box, including what the next um, paper line is that I will be working with. I'll link that for you guys too. Um, but I do have some things. I'm not exactly sure what my next one will be with this um, collection, but with the scraps, I wanna make a banner. Cause you guys know I love making banners. I just, I, I just don't get to do it all the time. But I just think they're so cute. Even like in an office or something. So just coming in here, gluing these two together, doesn't matter how you glue them together, which one's top or bottom, because they're the same. You just wanna make sure on the inside here that this folds up nicely over that piece. And yes, it does. So I'm gonna burnish it down like that. And if it makes you feel better, you could always take off like a 16th eight of an inch. So you have a lot of room. You can see my greasy lotion-y fingers all over the place. Okay, that, whatever that is, is gonna bug me. It's like a piece of glue. Okay. You open it like that on there. Okay. So there is our base. Voila. So just like this, you can use magnets in here if you want to, you don't have to, up to you. And then we just are gonna decorate. Ooh, you know what I forgot? I forgot something as usual. As there, I don't think there's been one tutorial that I haven't forgotten something, but I think I forgot the little flappy do's. Hold on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we need to that are, hold on, I'll cut them, but we need two pieces that are four and a quarter by four and three quarters. And this is if you like to mat like I do, or if you want, if you don't want to mat, but you like to have an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch border, um, this is for that. Okay, so hold on, I'm going to cut a couple pieces real quick. So two pieces, four and a quarter by eight and or by four and three quarters. I'll show you in one second. Ooh, this piece is kind of crinkly. That was messed up. Thank 
Minky Minky. Okay, see, I just all the time forget something. So I'm just going to say inside flaps. And this is for those who like to take photos or snaps of the uh, cuts. So this is four and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then you're going to score at one half on the four and three quarter side. Okay, so I'll show you in just a sec. So here is what we need. Because I always forget something. I'm not even striving to have perfect videos ever. <laughs> it's a waste of time and stress. Oh, I do have a question for you guys that I would love to, I don't know why this has worked a little bit. Um, would love to hear from you for these. Because I think most people have said they like me to show all the cuts at once. Because I don't do good cutting guides. So sorry, I know you guys like those. But I don't do them unless it's in a retreat. But if you like, or everyone says they like to have all the cutting up front. So all these measurements up front first. But as I'm doing these with the writing, I always just write the smallest measurement. No matter if it's width or height. I always write my smallest to my largest, would you guys prefer, or do you like it better to be whatever is the first number is the width of anything, and then the second number is the height? I would love a poll, so please feel free to answer in the comments. That would definitely help me out, make these a lot better for you guys, if I can. I don't know. Um, but, so we're going to stick these two on. So remember, you need two of these. Let me just write that down. Two. And if you've been on my channel, I know you're used to my craziness. So you just kind of go with the flow. But if I can make it easier, I'm not promising nothing. <laughs> but if I can, I will try to do it that way if that's what you guys think is easier. Okay, so we're just going to fold these. I did not do any pre, um, you know, work with score tape because I just really feel this is such an easy tutorial. So just get your glue. I use art, gl or art glitter glue from Country Craft Creations, which I think you can still, it's going to bug me upside down. Um, I think you still can, you might be able to still order it because I think she found a way to keep it warm. I think, don't quote me on that, well, when shipping. But definitely if you are in Utah, you should, um, you know, you have the ability to go to the store and have it right there. Just another poll while we're at it. Who would actually go to the store? See, it's not, I don't have that totally straight, so I'm going to try to line up with where I have it. Who would go to the store um, if a designer was flown in to teach a class? I'm just curious. I'm serious. Like, that's not happening. But I would love to know if you guys would do something, like not a retreat, just a class at Country Craft Creations. And if you haven't been there, you live in Utah. Shame on you because it's amazing. Uh, amazing. I would, like, they would they would literally kick ban me. They would ban me from going there if I lived there. Because <laughs> I would just start coming to the store every day, bugging them. Yep, moving stuff. I do that. I go into stores and if it's messy, I clean it up. If it you know, something doesn't look right, I'll make it better. I can't help myself. It's just years of being in retail. But I would love to know that question as well. Okay, so we put these two flappy doos on here. Now we are going to do the left side. So this side here. I did do, so let's just mark. I did do magnets on these two sides here. So this is just to remind myself or try. I, I forget this a lot of times, even though I write it down. Magnets. 
when you do this, and you might not know what I mean right now, but when you go to put your magnets on, you're going to know what I mean. But, so you put two magnets here, you close it. But see, these come together, so you might as well just, I don't even know how you could do it. Probably like this, maybe. Um, put just one magnet here, temporarily fold these together where you want. And then click them. I don't know if that makes sense. But if you do them one going the other way, then you get a little bit of resistance, which isn't too bad. It just feels weird because the two magnets are fighting with itself. But if they're off at all, which mine are, and I'll just show you. Mine are off a smidgen because I was not paying attention. And so my book right here just doesn't line up. Or you could not use magnets at all and be just fine. <laughs> Whichever. Okay, so let's do this side. We are going to use first, we're going to put down our top flap, but we're going to miter this corner here. Just to that first score line. Can you guys believe January is over already? Like, how is that possible? I just, I don't know, I, where did it go? Like... I mean, again, I think I said this before, but as we get older, does time go by faster? Because that's kind of rude. I mean, <laughs> it shouldn't do that. It should at least, like, let us think, you know, we're not aging fast. So you're just folding these up. This one you're going to fold under. I'll show you in one sec what it looks like if it was standing upright, like so. It's going to look like that. So this flap we are going to glue, so just get it at that first, you know, you don't have to worry about this second one right now, because you're going to line this up and do a dry fit. Make sure everything fits in there good. Yes, it does. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm looking to make sure, because you want to be within the score marks here. Because remember, if it impedes over the score line, you're not going to be able to close it up nicely. And if it does, because even after you've checked it and it's still, once you get it on there and glued, then just trim off a little sliver. It's not over yet. Yeah, you still have time to make some adjustments. I'm just, again, making sure. I want to make sure I'm not hanging over the top. Nope, it's good. I'm going to, before I totally burnish it, this one into place okay that looks good so I'm gonna burnish this down so it does not lift up like so I'm gonna give it a good now let's put on that bottom piece that's gonna close it up and then we'll do the waterfall on the inside so again, miter corners to that first score mark. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, got all these darn lights, should be able to see one. There we go. Okay, so to that first score mark is where we're doing it. And then fold. And then fold again, just kind of work it. Then you have those little gussets. Now, let's glue that down to the bottom. I'm just going to do a quick dry fit first, though. Okay, we are good. And I might want a white piece. I don't know. When we're working with the blacks, I sometimes with my eyeballs, I have to use just a little bit of white to see, you know, like where I want things to line up. I'll show you in a sec. And we're going to just kind of put this down. I don't press it down all the way yet because I want to make sure that this will fold up nicely inside here. Because see how this goes all the way down to the bottom? If it impedes too much, I won't be able to close. Plus, I want it even. 
So we are good. So I'm just going to press that baby down. And if for some reason yours does impede on the, the it folding up nicely, then just come in and rescore this a little bit higher. That's okay. This part does not have to go down all the way if you don't want it to or if you need to fix the boo boo. Okay, so now let's do our waterfalls. That's the best way. I, I don't know what they're called. That's just what I call them a stacked waterfall. Progress. Pro progress. No. They're progressing. They're progression. I don't know. What the heck is this called? Um, <laughs> they just get bigger as it goes down, but it looks like a normal waterfall when you look at it like this. But each one gets bigger. So again, let's miter those corners. If you like to miter, it's just to hide the seam. So I'm going to do all four first. I'm doing them off camera. That doesn't help you guys. Maybe I will do this in a Valentine's. I think I might have like a doodle bug. Valentine's. Well, I said I think. I have a whole bunch of doodle bug Valentine's. Just not. Is there one that's come out already? Or a brand new one? Brand new? I don't even remember now. But I have some older ones. So fold these over. Get that crease. We're going to stick her down. And you could do this, um, actually I think I'm going to. I'm going to do mine off first. Because I like to do them all together and then put them in the book at once. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just setting mine aside so you guys can somewhat see what I'm doing. Okay, so fold these all over. Fold it over. Fold it over. Okay. And we're just stacking these on top. So I always just kind of do one corner line up the other corner. I don't press everything down until I'm looking kind of all over. And if you are off, line up one side, meaning, I think I just bounced that off, um, one side this way, and then, so that way you only have to cut one time. If for some reason your yours is off. Ugh, I see that glue. I don't like it. I know it's going to dry clear, people. I know. All right. And we're going to... Oops, that was a big boo-boo. And if you don't know, like if you are seeing this from YouTube and don't know about Country Craft Creations, if you hop on over to Facebook and join Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, you get to see a lot more crafting action, I'll just say. But Tamara, the owner of the company, is has her second live February 1st for her December daily, which is amazing. So I'm not sure, they might still have some of the December daily kits left to order at um, countrycraftcreations.com. Um, but even if for some reason they've sold out, you could follow along with her videos. Also on YouTube at Country Craft Creations, you have to go to, don't go to videos like most people's because she does her videos live you have to click the live and then you'll see all her live tutorials and she is doing that february 1st is the second the part two and that is at what time 5 p.m i think yeah 5 p.m mountain standard time 
Okay, so we are done. We have those all ready. Now we're gonna stick them in our folio. I love fast projects. It just, you know, it excites me. And I have glue. I'm telling you guys, seeing the white glue before it dries clear drives me insane. I need to just close my eyes and keep it moving. Okay, so we are going to now put it on the top. Again, make sure you don't go above this first score line. So I'm kind of placing lightly. Oh, we have lots of space here. Because this is five and a quarter. And I'm just looking at the top, making sure everything's somewhat centered before I press it all down. I have a nice one eighth inch there. That folds nicely. Give it a good press. And then come in and burnish like so okay so that is done there now in my project I'll show you I used a tag as a closure with a brad because again my goal this year is to use things in my craft room I have not been using I haven't been using brads <laughs> In a long time and I have already used two in January yay me yeah the things I get excited about but um, what I did is I took my tag I placed it I don't want to crush this but let me show you guys I just placed the tag I punched a hole in my tag then I placed it on here where I wanted it took a pencil just do a little circle took this off and then that's where I knew I did not glue my decorative paper down first I had it together um, and then I knew where, because I drew that little pencil, where to punch my hole, put my brad in, then folded it up, then put it down. So that way it's stuck behind the decorative paper. You don't see it. You now have a fun closure like so. So again, you're just punching a hole, placing it where you want it, the pencil, boop, boop, and you're good to go. But you don't have to do that with the tag and if you don't have you can use magnets you don't have to do any of this that's the beauty of tutorials you guys can do what you want to do you do you boo who said that before i actually said it <laughs> i know i'm a mess i'm a mess okay so this is looking good nice and easy oh in this pocket let me show you it was just the paper I just used the paper as a pocket, so I had a little scrap from the border sheet. Um, I did back it on black artisan cardstock and had a little peekaboo showing, and then made a nice little tuck spot. And now we're gonna hop over to the right. Let's do the right middle first before we tackle the pocket. But you guys, this is really easy. So let's get all these, let's miter all these corners. So you're grabbing your um, right middle flaps. I mean, they're all flaps. And I just got these little corners. I bet you I can make some cute confetti with these corners I'm always cutting off. At least the ones without the score tape that's on them. Okay, so we have that, and then grab the closure flap, this one here, miter the corners up to that first score line. Oh gosh, you do not have to miter as much as I'm mitering. I don't know why I'm cutting off so much, and not that it makes a difference, it doesn't matter, but. Okay, so on this one, because there's that 1 8 inch of a gusset, let me grab my other tool, because I always gotta grab stuff. Hold, please. Let's see, we're just gonna grab this one. So, you can, I'm grabbing a spacer to show this is one eighth of an inch. You can use something like this to get that, um, where am I at? One eighth of an inch fold. So, I'm gonna show you guys. 
This was not my idea. Somebody came up with this in the retreat. And I just got to get it straight. I'm not doing it very well here. Okay. So you can use this for those 1 8 inch gussets that we all hate. <laughs> but sometimes you have to have them. Or you could just fold it. If you do it, fold here first and then the next one. But now you can come back in and really get that nice and crispy. We want it crisp. Like so. And then get that second one back. Get it crispy. Just got all kinds of weird accents popping out. I don't even know what accent that would be, but <laughs> just Tiffany language. So I don't know if you guys can see, we, but we have our 1 8 inch gusset there. But just again, a nice little tip for you if it's hard, you know, because some of us it is hard to get that in there. So use your tools. But let's get these going first. So we're gonna just fold that first score. I promise, we're almost done. And then I'll show you the next paper I'll be working with as well as the next project, one of the projects I'll make with this collection, but it's gonna be a while because I have all the birthday stuff coming up for the retreats. Um, we have the birthday bash that is sold out. It's a one day event. But there's going to be more. I think there's something coming in March. And then, of course, if I, it might be sold out, but double check the actual birthday bash in May in Utah. I don't know the dates off the top of my head, but I'm going to teach for the first time in person. Oh, my Lanta. Can I just have a heart attack? I mean, please don't give me a heart attack. But you guys know what I mean. I am dying. So those that are going, y'all better be nice. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to get feisty right back with you. But yes, I'm teaching live in person. It probably will be recorded as the hot mess that happened in Utah in 2024. We're just, you know, we're just going to have fun. I will mess up. There will be some laughter. You know, what's a girl going to do? But... I'm finally taking the plunge. You got to start somewhere, right? So I'm going to try it. Hopefully it goes okay and I'll be able to do more, but we'll see. But if it isn't sold out and you're interested, definitely um, check into that. I'll try to remember to have that link below as well. And I don't know if the virtual there will be a virtual option. So if you can't fly to Utah during that time frame, but you want to get the goodies, the bags, um, not the bag, the box of goodies, um, as well as like a little, there's some extra stuff in there. And then there's like prizes Tamara does even for the virtual people. If that's something you want to do, you know, take advantage of it. Life is too short. Y'all, paper makes us happy. You gotta live life and have fun. Don't let all that other minutia get in your way of just being happy. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I am rarely not happy. <laughs> I am happy I will be 50 this year and I'm okay with that. I don't care. Now, I don't like to feel 50 and I've had those moments, but I am appreciative and thankful for every day that I get to enjoy doing what I love, meeting new people, and having fun. You just got to find your happiness. Everyone can find it. Okay. So, we have that. We're almost there. Again, I'm just giving some good burnishing here. I want to make sure it's down good. And again, you have plenty of room. So if you really want to make sure you are off that score line, you can come in. I mean, I probably went too close. So let's just see. I wasn't, you know, I'm not over, but you know, yeah, it's good enough. 
Good enough. Okay, then let's do our side pocket. So let's get the big one out first. We have this piece, the four and a quarter by nine. Oh, no, no, no. I, this piece was dangling over there. Come on back. Come on back. We are in the middle. So, ew. And I forgot to cut the little pocket too. Okay, here we go. This, if you're new to my channel, this is normal. <laughs> there will be boo-boos, guaranteed. So my videos are in real time. I don't edit. I show you all my errors. I show you how I fix them. And I tell everybody, and it has been true, I mess up on every single project, even if it's a little mess up. Okay, so this one you definitely want to make sure you are on this side of the score line. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to go. If you want to mark it centered exactly, go for it. Okay, so we are here. And we have plenty of room because the waterfall does not go all the way over. Boop, boop. I'm just going to press that down. Pop it back up. Okay. Now, this is going to be a closure here, like so. Let me make sure. I'm going to show you guys because I forgot the pocket. It's just a little, a little strippy do. But I forgot this pocket here. So this is, I don't have my book with me, but I think it's like two. Yeah. I did not add a gusset to the bottom because I didn't want to add bulk. So it is two inches by uh, five and a half. So find a scrap piece, two inches by five and a half. And let me cut that real quick. I don't find it. Okay, here we go. Hold on one minute. So we have a gusset on um, the two ends and we just glue down the bottom. So I'll show you in just a sec. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to keep getting the scoreboard back out that I told you. Put it away. Never put them away with my channel. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Okay, so score on each end. And I'll write this down for you so you have it too. But this is our pocket. I'm going to write it down here because we're going to, I'm going to show you the notch. So our pocket is two by five and a half. And then we score at one half on the five and a half ends. So like that, let's miter these corners and then we're gonna fold it up. And when I say we're almost done, we're never almost done. You know, it just feels good. We got goals. <laughs> goals, oh my gosh. Okay, and then, okay, so we have this piece now. Get out your envelope punch. You don't have to do this either. You can use um, a half inch circle and just create a thumb notch. But if you do this, so this piece is, where did I just put my ruler? It's now four and a half. I don't know why I needed a ruler. So four and a half, so at two and a quarter, you will punch it. And then with matting, if you mat like I do, where it's one eighth of an inch shorter than the, the next paper, whatever, um, when you go to mat, you are gonna put this in at, I believe it is tested on something like a scrap piece of paper first, but I think I went right in between, I think. I'm pretty sure I went right in between the two and one eighth and the two and a quarter. Woo, I think that's what I did. But don't quote me. <laughs> I will I will say I don't know what you're talking about. Um, 
but that's how to get that little notch there and then we're just going to add glue to the bottom and put that on so the sides in the bottom that is and then don't go all the way down to the very bottom because again you want it to fold up nicely so just a little bead that's not little and that's not nice <laughs> okay let me try to get my white paper. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. So I'm just coming down, but I'm not going past that border. And we probably should have did a dry fit because you always should do a dry fit, but it's working out nicely. So just burnish it all down. What are you guys hoping for those that are going to the May retreat? in Utah for Country Craft Creations at the birthday bash. What are you hoping some of the projects will be? I just like seeing how y'all think. <laughs> That's it. This is no secret like questionnaire that I'm supposed to be asking. I'm just one, I'm nosy and I like to see, you know, what everyone's thinking, plain and simple. So there you go. I did, just reminder if you want exactly like mine, I did use my um, corner chompers, and I'll show you the one that I used. It's my deco. Yes. So again, trying to use the tools I haven't used. So um, it's my deco side of this corner chomper. We are memory keepers slash now we are makers. Um, but again, I'm pushing myself to use tools and things for my craft room that I haven't used in a long time. And I have already used two brads and three different tools. So there, <laughs> winning. <laughs> my goals are small people. My goals are small. Well, just let me be. Okay. So I don't even know. I gotta remember how I did this. Okay. <laughs> We will see if I do this correctly, but we are going to come in and I'm going to come in like so. Can you see? No, you can't. I'm cutting right there so far and we're going to come in and do the same, but I am just coming on the insides of these score lines and I'm going to cut these just out. all I'm doing is just cutting these out so it looks like this here you see that good and then you just cut one of these I don't it doesn't really matter to me which one you cut but let's do this one here so now we have a little flappity flap can you guys see that and I do like to mire this just a smidgen to make sure again everything folds up nicely but I could already see my cut from my scores are not nice. And we'll, I'll show you that in a sec, but let's do this other side first. So cut down, cut all the way over, and we're just going to cut these out. So that you leave one little tiny square hanging from one side. Okay, and then just miter it a little bit. Oh, and also tell me who is going to be the first time at the retreat, if you are going. So, it looks like this here. Can you guys kind of see that? Yeah. Um, trying to move this stuff out of the way so you can see. Now I'm going to come in and just miter this a little bit. So fold these over, just make sure everything looks good on that first one. That looks good. Now fold this over. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. So fold this over. What I did was fold these over first. It doesn't matter. But I just want to make sure I could see that that's a little on the fat, fat side. And then this one a little bit 
Okay, now you can come in and fold on that second score. I just kind of push it up a little bit with my finger and then I come in and crease it. So I'm just, my finger is underneath, you know, just kind of getting that formation or getting it to form, whichever way you want to say it. You guys are probably like, well, I want to say it in the proper way it's supposed to be said. <laughs> English. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Have that. So these just fold up onto itself. And again, you just kind of work it. I'm going to fold it around before we do any kind of gluing because we want to make sure everything fits nicely. So you have this, you have this. I'm going to come increase this a little bit more. I think I keep going off camera. It's, I'm not doing anything important, so don't worry. But something, I'm not liking something here. I think that is not, what's not working? That is good. Okay, must be just my imagination. Or, yeah, it's good enough. I'm really just being very picky. Did I press these good? I don't remember, but we're gonna do that because I feel like it's fighting with me. <laughs> okay, now, we can fold this up. This really is a lot easier than I'm making it. I'm just, I am a little OC about it being square. So I come in, I kind of just look at it like this. You can use um, clothes pens if you want to keep it closed. But let's put some glue on here. Probably been too long because I can see I got glue chilling. Oops, there we go. I'm going to put a little bit just right here. And I'm just going to wait a second. Let's put it on this side for a minute, too. Just a little bit. Okay, now come in. And I'm just going to kind of hold this in place. Square it up. But like I said, you could put little clips here if you want to. You just want to make sure it's as square as possible. And I do this, and sometimes it's not, so don't worry if it isn't. Okay, I'm just going to put my little paper clip here for a second. Not that that's holding much, but I need to be able to put this side on. Okay, and then I want to come in and press. I was just pressing that little piece in. I think I might need to do the same here. There we go. So it's not down very good. It takes a minute for your glue to set, so that's why it's good to pinch it. And let's see, am I somewhat squared up? Yes, when you glue it down, it'll be a lot better. Okay, so we are going to go for it, but dry fit first. As you need to see, Okay, if you're off a little bit, this one is not square, don't like you. So I just undid it, you guys saw? And I'm gonna get it a little bit tighter. And then I'm gonna wait a second for it to set up. I wanted that corner in just a little bit more. Like so. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay. And we're just going to center that. Again, you're looking at like top and bottom. It's hard to see on the black. But we're going to go ahead and put this down. Stop that. Stop it, stop it, stop it. And this is when I do like score tape, especially on here, like a score tape glue combo, because the score tape kind of sticks it in place first. 
and then the glue sets up and gives that permanent hold. But I do like to normally do a score tape glue combo for gusseted boxed pockets. Going to just make sure everything is in place where it's supposed to be. And then you can come in and I want a flat thing, so I'm just gonna use my space saw and MacGyver it. Just making sure everything is getting pressed into place. Your ruler probably works good for this. These work great, even the tall ones. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can link the spacers too. So let me know if I did forget to do it. So I'm just coming in and checking. It's almost there. Just want to press down a little bit. And like I said, it's just setting up. And that is good enough. Yes, we are good. Am I upside down? Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now we have this last piece to close it up, miter those corners. Miter, miter. Fold that first line down. And then the second one. Good crease there. Like so. And then you come over and you're going to line it up to the top of this. But push down your gusset so you can line up. I just stuck my finger in the glue. So we want to line up this one. I need it to see, and again, there we go. So I'm kind of, you know, pushing down, but not all the way, but now I'm gonna give it a good press. And it will set up nicely. You guys can see my my glue skin everywhere. I'm shedding. That's gross. I don't want that on there, even though it's my book. <laughs> okay. So we are done. And then you could do, I did two magnets right here like that. So let's do our little ends to remind us. Magnet magnet this one I wanted to do a magnet and I forgot so it's up to you but you can come in and say M M if you want that but this all like closes up on it anyway so it doesn't really matter and then voila we have our cardstock folio using country craft creations artisan cardstock and we are at an hour so we got that done pretty fast. So, you know, it's a nice hour long project to get, you know, just put the base together. But remember, you guys can use any paper for any tutorial. Don't get stuck on what a designer, what paper they use. But let me see, where is it at? What I promised I was gonna show you guys. I have been showing this a couple times, but if you aren't someone who likes to watch like my haul videos, um, I have been with the Scrappy Doos. I've been making these adorable. Aren't these just so cute? I don't know what I'm doing with them yet other than I do want them on a banner. Um, and then I did purchase, so this came from the Puffy, I think it's the Puffy Icon stickers. And then I wanted another little critter, so I got a snowman. Um, not that every house is going to have it, but I did break out my 
um, house dies. So just again, just reminding you guys to think beyond what the first initial intention was of some of your items. But this is a Halloween die, which I, I love. But to me, this is a cute little like steeple house, you know, it could be a church, it could be whatever. And then this was the um, gingerbread lane. So I will link these because there are some left. I showed this when I showed the warehouse in Utah, um, but I did see that some of them sold. So I think there might be only one or two left of this and then a few left of this one. But these are nice. You can use them for other things. Um, it could be a tag for like a, you know, a gift for somebody who just got a home, a brand new home. Like these are just cute, but I needed one more size or one more style. So then I got this one, the Doodle Cuts, the Home Sweet Home, which I do think because I did find two at the warehouse and when I showed it, they I believe they sold out. Um, but you still might be able to find these somewhere. So I still have to make one with this. But I just thought these were so stinking cute, but it's almost kind of like, you know, the own little your own little doodle pops. I did pop them up with foam. Um, but it was fun and perfect for scraps. So that is going to be for sure like some type of winter banner, but I just love these as tags. Stinking cute. So keep, you know, your dies out. And then the next collection I will be working with is going to be Country Craft Creations love letters so this is the next one i'll be working with this is stunning i don't know what i'm doing yet but this is going to be february it could be mother's day it could be just a love you know to a daughter or love you know it doesn't have to be valentine type things um there are some that say valentine and kissing booth but you don't have to use that remember you can use b-sides you know just again think beyond but um I am going to be using that, so I'd love to know if you guys got this collection and you're going to follow along with me, or if you've already made something with this, but this will be my next Country Craft Creations Design Team project. But there you guys go. If you haven't already, you are going to want to hoard this Doodle Bug so much fun, and other designers like Jen Palmer um, from Scrapping Under the Influence has made some beautiful projects with this, Anne Marie. Uh, has made um, a project with this that's amazing I think well, I, well if there's anyone else I'll try to remember but you got to go check them out um, so there's a wide variety so you can you know just stash up on this collection and you'll have lots of options but remember doodle bug does not always have to be with the cutesy critters use the b-sides this is just a I call it my frosty snowman folio it's just a winter folio without the critters it doesn't have the houses like all the real cutesy cutesy stuff even though i love the cutesy cutesy i just want to give you guys another option but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you like this video and tutorial and if you did please give your girl a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do so that way you can see future projects thanks for watching bye